Hello everyone. In this video, we will find the continuum square roots such as square root of 1 plus 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 and so on. So let's look at the nature of the continuum square roots. At first, we need to suggest square root of 1 plus 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 n infinity as x. So, clearly look at the pattern of the number 1 and the square root. Square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus goes repeatedly. And so, we can also consider square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus as x. So, substitute square root of 1 plus the whole square the whole continuous square roots as x equal to x. Multiplying the both sides or sorry squaring both sides square root of 1 plus x the whole square equal to x square then 1 plus x equal to x square. So x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. We can consider it as the quadratic formula n, we need to compare with the standard form. The standard form is a a square plus b a plus c equal to zero, and the coefficient of a square a is one, and the coefficient of a b is minus one, and the coefficient and the constant value c is minus one. By finding a by the quadratic formula as the general formula is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. A, we get a as 1 plus or minus root 5 by 2. But in this case, we need to consider only the principal root or the positive root. As 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus goes behind to infinity. And so we need we can only get the positive root. So, the value of a for the quadratic equation is only the principal root or the positive root 1 plus root 5 by 2. The prospect value will be 1 plus root 5 is 2.236 by 2 and we get 1.618. And so, the whole continuous square root is 1.618. Thank you for watching this video.